Can we just take a second to talk about how the main are the best band in the world? Because they are. What's up guys, it's Caitlin, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming another playlist video for you. I don't think I've done one of these in a while, so I decided that I would sit down and talk to you about my fall playlist. Recently, there's just been so much new music coming out that I've been obsessed with lately. Songs that I know I'm going to be listening to a lot in the fall, and I'm excited to show you. And I tend to ramble on about this stuff, so I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. I'll have the playlist linked down below. It's on my Spotify. You can follow it. Definitely check these songs out. I love them a lot. So anyways, without further ado, we'll Let's get right into it. Okay, the first song I'm going to talk about is Want Me Around by Knuckle Puck. This was the third single they released right before they dropped their new album, Shapeshifter. If you've been living under a rock, hello. Knuckle Puck dropped a new album. It's called Shapeshifter. It's fantastic, and I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking it out. This is my favorite song off the album. I'm not really sure why. It's my favorite song. I don't know. I just keep going back to it. This song fucking rocks. I love it so much. The lines, they say that time heals everything, but what if time is everything? I literally had to rewind it and replay that four times the first time I heard it. I I don't know why it hit me so hard, but it did. One of the best songs on the record, in my opinion, obviously. But anyways, check out the entire record. Honestly, Knuckle Puck are a fantastic band, and I'm so stoked to see them headline. Next month? Yeah, next month. The next song is Medicine by Citizen. Citizen is a band that I've never really been super into until their new album As You Please came out, which is the record the song is off of. I've been obsessed with this album ever since it came out. The song has like a cool, like lower laid back kind of vibe. That's the kind of music I associate in the fall time. I don't know. This is one of my favorite songs off the album. I just like this entire album a lot. This is an album you definitely need to check out. I really, really like it. It's probably gonna make my album of the year list, honestly. Like, it's so good. The next song is a song that came out at the beginning of this year is probably one of my favorite songs ever and this is How Do You Feel By The Main I don't even know if I have the right words to explain how much I love this song first off this entire album is literally a masterpiece there is nothing wrong with this album it is pure perfection probably one of my favorite songs of all time by The Main if not my favorite song by The Main I've just been listening to the song so much more towards the end of the summer to the beginning of the fall I really really love this song ever since they dropped the music video for this I think was it September? awesome music video The Main are the best band in the world this is one of the best songs in the world and I had to put it on this list. The next song makes me really fucking emo and like I know a lot of things make me really emo but this song especially and this band especially just makes me really fucking emo. The song is 19 by Movements. I only got into Movements this year. This song came out last year I think. I can't even put into words how it feels to listen to the song while also being 19. Like I find the song so goddamn relatable. I can't wait to literally scream my lungs out when I hear them play this when they open for Knuckle Puck. I am not you, I am barely me. Wow, like the spoken word part Pat does, wow. It hits me right in the feels and it makes me feel a lot of things. Pat Miranda is literally a genius. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> the next song is a song that if you know me, you probably didn't think would be on this list. And this is a heavier song, it's called Fragile Limbs by Counterparts. This is off the new Counterparts record that came out in like September. It's called You're Not You Anymore. Well, I honestly really like this album a lot. I'm not usually into like heavier music, but Counterparts is a band I started to listen to this year and I really got into when the album dropped last month. Like, I've been listening to it a lot. I unfortunately missed their set at Warp Tour, but I definitely want to see them when they come back, I think it's February? I think they're coming back in February? I don't know, this is a good song. Probably my favorite off this album. I don't know, I had to put it on this list just because I've been listening to it so much. Counterparts isn't for everyone, but if you're into like, kinda heavy music, I wouldn't consider it the heaviest music ever. But if you're into kinda heavy music, definitely check out this album. It is their debut album, and I think they did a really good job on it. The next song, is my favorite song by this band and this is float away my home safe off of their ep evermore that came out last year i've been in love with the song since the first time i heard it and i'm still in love with it to this day honestly the part where it like slows down and it's mainly instrumental for two minutes then it like pauses and then it picks up again towards the end for the last minute like everything about the song is fantastic home safe is such an underrated band. They're opening up for Knucklebuck for this tour, and if you're planning on going to that tour, please make sure you get there early enough to see Home Safe. They're so good live. They're one of the best bands I've seen live lately. I saw them headline in February, and I saw them open up for State Champs in September. Great crowds, great band. If you like Knucklebuck, you're probably gonna like Home Safe because the least singer of Home Safe is literally Ryan from Knucklebuck. So honestly, the song, this EP, everything Home Safe has, check it out, get into them. Fantastic band. Uh, we're gonna get emo again. This song is Leave You in the Dark by State Champs. I'll save you guys the rambling. Y'all already know how I feel about State Champs, but this is my favorite acoustic song by them, and all I want to do is hear it live one day. Honestly, I will not be satisfied until I hear this live. I think it's the only acoustic State Champs song out of the four that they have that I haven't heard. 
because I've heard Stick Around, If I'm Lucky, and Around the World and Back. And Leave You in the Dark, my favorite acoustic song by them. Still haven't heard a lot. Seriously, like, I can't put it into words how much the song means to me. I love it so much. Okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the next song is Miss Imperious by Broadside. This is another fucking banger that came out this year off of another fucking great album that came out this year. Their new album, Paradise, that came out in June has literally been on repeat so much and I've absolutely fallen in love with this song. Might even be my favorite Broadside song. Sorry, Lobster on a Picture Frame. Miss Imperious is climbing up there. I love everything about this song. The lyrics, the riffs, the guitar solo, the title. Any song with a Harry Potter reference in the title is a good song to me. Broadside has honestly become one of my favorite bands in such a short amount of time and I love all of their music. If you're not into the Broadside at all, please just do me a favor and check out this song. Like honestly, I love it so much. The next song is also by a band that I only recently found out about and this is Petrichor by Bearings. I saw Bearings open up for state champs on the Road to Riot Fest tour, so how I found out about them. I have a couple close friends that love, love, love this band, so I got into them. The song is off their EP they literally just released at the beginning of September. The EP is called Nothing Here is Permanent. This is my favorite song on the EP, hands down. Probably the best song on the EP, in my opinion, maybe besides like North Hanson. If you like what you hear, like definitely check out the rest of Bearings stuff. They don't have that much stuff out there. Fairly new-ish band, but seriously, they're so great. The song is absolutely amazing. It was so good live. They were so good live. They're the sweetest guys ever. Seriously, check them out. The next song is a song I wasn't going to put on this because I feel like I talk about this band too much anyways. Literally the band I'm wearing on my hoodie right now, and this is Grayscale. The song I chose is Fever Dream. I don't really know why I chose this one because I basically listen to Adornment all the time anyway. I could have picked any song off of it. But Fever Dream is a little more laid back and it kind of reminds me of like chilling out during the fall. I don't know. I love it so much. As you guys know, Grayscale very quickly became one of my favorite bands. This is probably one of the most underrated songs of theirs and I'm really glad they played it on the Four Year Strong Tour. It has like a kind of a different feel to it. It's not like your basic fast, loud, cheery pop punk song. It's like more laid back. It's cool. I love the chorus. I love the lyrics. Honestly, the bass and the drums in this are 10 out of 10. Like I feel like I'm walking grayscale promotion. I literally am. Just check them out. The next song is another song that just came out. If you've been living under a rock, I guess you don't know this, but the story so far is back and better than ever. They released this song sometime in September. It's called Out of It. It's the first single off of the album that's coming up at the end of this year. Seriously, I love the song so much. I've always loved the story so far, and it's like Parker Cannon finally is not singing about that one fucking girl. Um, it's a refreshing, newish sound for the story so far. Super, super stoked to see them this fall when they headline. I'm excited to hear this and the rest of their album. I think it's going to be another great album this year. So yeah. The next song, actually another song that I've become obsessed with because of the music video, and this is Lose It by Swimmers off of their album Drive North. This album came out last year, so it's still kind of new-ish. Swimmers is a band that I've known about forever, but I didn't listen to actively until this spring um, because they were opening up for All Time Low. The song is hands down my favorite on the album. I feel like it's always stuck in my head. For some reason, it reminds me of high school in the fall, maybe because... Whenever I had crushes in high school, it always tended to be around the fall season. I don't know, that's weird. Totally coincidence. If all my favorite songs made me think of you, I'm gonna lose it, which is uh, really relatable because let's be honest, like there are definitely songs out there that remind you of people in your past that you might not want to remember. So yeah, good song, good band. This is a great album. I'm excited to see them headline in December too, but I still have to buy my ticket. Uh, yeah, I love being broke. <laughs> Anyways. The next song is a song by another band I didn't really get into this year, and this is A Will Away. The song I chose is Gravity. This is off of their debut album, I believe, Here Again. I was supposed to see A Will Away open for Moose Blood in March, but that show was snowed out in Boston because we had a blizzard, um, so I've unfortunately never seen A Will Away. Um, I don't know, I love the vibe this album gives off. It's kind of laid back. It's really like easy to listen to. Like this entire album is going to be great to listen to on like cool fall nights and Gravity is my favorite song off of this. So I put it on this playlist. I really want to see them live because I love this album like so much. Probably another album that's going to make my favorite albums of the year list. The last song on this list is While the World Keeps Spinning by Rome off of their brand new album Great Heights and Nosedives. But this is one of my favorite songs off the album. They released an album at the very beginning of 2016 called Backbone. And 
and if I'm being completely honest, it wasn't that good. I really only liked a couple of the songs, and I like the band because they're fantastic people. Like, I've met them, they're sweethearts, and I like supporting bands that I know are good people. I heard the first single, Playing Fiction, and I was so pleasantly surprised. They're good now. It's so cool. Like, they're actually good. This album was pretty good. They've improved so much as musicians and songwriters. If you didn't like Rome stuff before, keep an open mind. Definitely check out this album. It's so much better than the first one. They've improved a lot as musicians, and I think that you might actually like this one. <laughs> Anyways, that is my fall 2017 playlist. Please check out some of these songs and some of these bands if you haven't already. They're all amazing, and I support all of them, and I think these are some really good songs. So if you're looking for new music, check it out. If you liked playlist videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Maybe I'll do like a winter playlist. I don't like to do a ton of playlist videos because I feel like I'm not good at like explaining why I like songs besides just saying, oh, I love it. If you're new here, hello. My name is Caitlin. I like to talk about music and a bunch of other random stuff about my life. So if you like what you saw today, definitely subscribe because that would mean a lot to me and you'd be notified when I make new videos. I'm going to shamelessly plug myself right now as I do in every video and say you should definitely go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Best way to stay up to date with me is on Twitter. Sometimes I do polls on Twitter of videos that you guys might want to see. You can also add me on Snapchat. I definitely Snapchat all the concerts I go to. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.